talk about having the different ways that you can leverage your listings, you're, you're going to have some goals for this. The first and foremost is to get the exposure out in order to drive demand to your clients, right? The idea is that in the way that we do it is that we start with a coming soon and we try to bring as much traffic to the property, most attention to the property before it's listed so that on the day that it is listed, we set up the conditions that lead to multiple offer situations. Goal number two is to bring in leads on that listing. And goal number three is to brand yourself with the listing in order to get your name out there that you're going to be the go-to listing person when someone is looking to list your, your, their property, right? That goes along with what we went in on our, our first segment, which is content re retargeting, okay? Um, but, you know, I've got basically, the, I've got the four different segments of a listing, as I said, the four different phases are under contract, uh, I'm sorry, coming soon, just listed, under contract, just sold, okay? So here are the things that you can do when you go for coming soon. Market the property as much as possible. Bring eyes on the listing. Oops, wrong one. Uh, okay, branded directional signs pointed to the listings. Okay, and then guys, you should know this, but if you don't, we have on our portal, we have, um, you can order branded directional signs with your, your face and phone number on it. Okay. Um, and then a coming soon sign on the listing. Um, coming soon, Facebook and Instagram ads and, and, uh, and posts that point to the listing on your site, okay? And then finally, and, and Kelly uh, and, and Sunny, I want to add this to our, our transaction management for the you know, transaction process, is that when you have the blog up or the, uh, the blog of the coming soon or even just the ad of the coming soon or the space on your site where it gives a description of the property, you're gonna ask the seller to share that with their friends on Facebook or on the listserv that they have, most neighborhoods have a listserv, or next door. We cannot go in on next door and put something in there because it's an advertisement. A seller can. This is a beautiful process, especially if you're doing the retargeting that we were talking about earlier. Because if they share it, their friends and family and neighbors are going to go and look at the property and they're going to be retargeted on all of the stages of the listing. And if you have content that you're putting out, they're gonna be retargeted on it. This is a amazing way for you to take advantage of a listing. And I want you guys to really think about that. We're leaving money on the table by not leveraging the listing, okay? Um, you know, text for info sign that sends a link to the listings. And what I love about the text for info is Flyers are just such a pain in the ass. You know, you have people that throw them away and you have to go put them out there with a text for info or not just a text for info, you could actually put like a vanity URL like 123mainstreet.com. But on the text for info, you capture their, their, their phone number and then it will send them a text with a link to where you're housing the, the property on the URL and then you would target them on their mobile devices, okay? Um, I think it's a great way to do this. Uh, and then, you know, on a, another level for not just, you know, consumer marketing, but agent marketing, the broker only, broker and agent only Facebook groups, okay? Just listed um, Facebook post and, and ad announcing the status change to just listed. Again, if the seller's willing, ask them to, to share the status update on Facebook and listserv. Um, branded just listed postcard. That's the same thing for coming soon. You could do that for coming soon. That's a little bit overkill, um, but certainly for the just listed. We also have door hangers. Sunny, we have door hangers on the quick print portal, right? Yes. Yeah. So if you're you know putting your changing the sign out from coming soon to just listed, you can go out and you know put them on the neighboring 10, 20 houses. If you're doing just listed, you can order them from quick prints and have them sent out to the, the 100 houses around the property. This is especially important if you have a listing in a farm that you're working. I absolutely think you should be doing this, okay? 
retargeting the status change on Google and Facebook and Instagram. Also, when I say anything about retargeting or, or advertising on, on Facebook, Instagram goes hand in hand with that. It, 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 just, it, just, it just happens, right? Um, when you do your first open house, we have the open house app that puts the lead into uh, Follow Boss and it will send them listing alerts like the property they visited in their email and it will retarget them on Facebook. This is who, uh, who, is, who are you talking about? I mean, well, let me, let me finish so you can say it. We'll have some time for questions. Um, and then, uh, again, broker and agent Facebook groups. Under contract, at that point, you're not going to do quite as much. Just, you know, you're going to change the status. Like, when, when you guys send us a listing and, you know, we've got the Google form, which, by the way, I wanted to tell you, most of you guys are not doing that, okay? It's a very simple process, and it's what put, what tells us to engage in the rest of the process. Okay, um, Isabel, you may want to tell uh, Emma to do that because we're we're not getting that right now. Okay. Okay. Um, and basically, you put the URL. We can download the photos and the description of the property. And at that moment, we make all of the images for Facebook, Instagram, and Google. Okay, it's much simpler when we get photos to have all of that done at one time so that when you go into the pending process, we get an email saying, you know, we're now into under contract, and then we can go in and literally within seconds change the advertisement. And it doesn't even mean you're gonna get a lot of clicks, but you're going to get a lot of branding from that, right? The, 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 the cost per impression is like, less than a penny, okay? We get cost <laughs> per click. We don't get that many clicks. You're gonna get some clicks, but the power here is the branding, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and then just sold status on, uh, change status on Facebook and Google and Instagram. Uh, branded retargeting to just sold. Um, it, this would be another part where if you are uh, farming a neighborhood, you'd wanna order the just sold postcards and send those out to like the hundred houses that are close to that, right? 